today in this video i'll show you how you can show the preview of any upload image so here i will let a custom code and i will explain how the code is work so for that i will go to the visual studio code and first of all here i will let a image tag and i will bind the source of this image so we use square bracket to bind so here is the square bracket and into the square bracket i have write source equals to a variable variable name is url you can write here any name of this variable now i will copy this url variable and i will go to the ts file and here you can see ng on in it so below the ng on in it so first of all i will scroll the page and here i will paste the url variable equals to double inverted comma and i will show you here you can see into the assets folder i have stored three images banner one banner two and logo so here i will write the part of this image so assets slash and i will write here the banner one dot jpg and semicolon to separate this line and now i will go to the browser so you can see the banner one image is appeared here so now i will set the height so i will use here height attribute and height is 200 and now here i will write a br tag to break this line and here i will write a input type file and now i will go to the browser so now you can see the image size is now 200 pixel and here is the input type file so when we upload any image so suppose i upload this image and now you can see here is the upload it's displaying the name of upload images but it's not displaying the preview so i will write the code of this so when i will upload this image so the banner onejpg image will be removed from here and instead of this I will show the preview of the upload images so here I have to write a function so parenthesis and I will write a change function not click function because here it works change function so change and the function name is on select file you can write any name of this function and parenthesis and into the parenthesis I will write a dollar event so angular provides us dollar event method so when we use dollar event into any function and it is this is the parameter so when we pass dollar event parameter so that means it specify this input element so now I will copy this file function on select file and i will go to the ts file and here i will paste this function and parenthesis and curly braces so i pass here the parameter dollar event so for that to similar of the dollar event i have to pass a parameter here also so i will write the parameter name is e you can write here any name of this parameter and now i will write a if condition so if parenthesis e dot target dot files so here files is used to get the input type files dom property so i we need a dom property of input type files because we need a upload images name etc so here we use files because files return the dom property of input type files so now here we are to create a new object reader so i will write a variable var reader equals to new file reader file reader this this object is used to read the file and now we are to write 
reader dot read as data url to read the data so parenthesis and into the parenthesis e dot target dot files so we need to read that data that means when we upload any images or any files so we need to read of the DOM property of that this image or file so here is that read as data well to read the DOM property of target event so here is the e dot target dot files and index is zero and semicolon to separate this line and now reader dot on load equals to and here we have to pass another parameter this is the inbuilt method so here I will pass a parameter name event you can write any name of this parameter so and the type is any because we can upload here uh, any xls file uh, text file or images etc so even type is any and i will write here arrow function so equals to arrow you can write a simple function also this type of simple function but i will write here the arrow function this is the new javascript function so and this dot in this url variable so url equals to event dot target dot result result is used to get the ultimate result and press control s to save and in the html file i will also press control s to save and now i will go to the browser so here is the browser and now if i upload this any image so you can see it's changed the preview of this image so the banner one dot jpg is removed from here and instead of that it is displaying our target images so hope guys this video is helpful for you and if you like this video then please subscribe and if you want to get more videos of angular then press the notification bell icon also